on March 8, 2024, the Fraser Solar Project signed an agreement with New Slate Land Management to create one of the largest sheep grazing operations in the state at its facility in Knox County. The image of a shepherd tending a flock of sheep goes back centuries, but lately it's gotten quite a modern update. In many parts of the country, agricultural land is now home to the massive panels of the booming solar energy industry. And that land remains suitable for grazing farm animals, which in turn control the growth of vegetation around the panels. Solar grazing, as it's known, is just one example of the agrosolar industry, a growing space which combines the old and new to enhance both the economy and the environment. A lot of families out there, a lot of people who are in the farming business that are giving up, it's gonna give a new hope for them. Especially in Texas, you have a lot of skeptics on the solar piece just because we are taking up the agricultural land with this energy, but once I figured out that we could combine agriculture and keep a lot of this country in, in ag production, it really kind of changed my mind on what, what we could do with this land and keep it in some ag production to feed America, but also uh, be able to generate energy at the same time. We are seeing places that had traditionally the top sheep producing states in the U.S. are stressed. We are slowly losing our sheep population in this country. I needed a way to provide farm income. And looking around, I discovered that people were using sheep on solar. And I learned about solar grazing and I could see that it worked. The vegetation grows. The sheep are brought to the solar array from their home farm. And the movement of the sheep is critical. The sheep need to be moved from point to point to point across the site in a planned rotation. It's important to have the grass underneath the panels. The problem is, is it grows. <laughs> and so we have to have a way to keep that grass below the panels. You've got two options, mechanical or livestock. We love the livestock option because it's healthier for the grass. The higher it is on top, the, the longer the roots are on the bottom. So you want taller grass in order to have a better ability to get that deep water in the ground. And with the solar grazing, we really have restored a bunch of the healthy soil ecology, and that will form the baseline for healthy insect populations, healthy bird populations, and so on. Keep going. Get me ready. My husband and I both sought out to get a farm, but I never would have ever dreamed that I would be a head shepherdess <laughs> with a flock of sheep that know me and come running and that my kids are farmhands and we get to, to do amazing work as a family. The solar field is a big instrument in allowing us to full-time farm. So this is gonna be a game changer in being able to move forward sustainably. On solar sites nationwide, there are pollinators and beekeeping, crops grown, cattle raised, even fish farmed. Peterson says the opportunities appear endless. Think that it is another crop. They're harvesting the sun again. They are providing the crop of energy and they're doing that in a way that they can sustain their farm. I'm talking to farmers that they're able to pay for their farm for generations. They look at this as a way to be a good steward of the land. I spent a long time so always saying, be part of the solution, don't be part of the problem. And that was sort of a guiding principle of how I was trying to live. So I came to LightSource to realize the dream. It is absolutely how to execute solar grazing at scale and to make a significant difference. And oh boy, the momentum, the giant wave of it all. You know, we're not building a little power plant over here in a box. You know, we're, we're working the land. So it seemed like, well, these are two industries that need each other. They need each other now. Have a little patience and let's get it done.